If Aang had not gone into the iceberg in Avatar The Last Airbender, Korra might not have been the next Avatar, but rather someone else from the Water Tribe. The Last Airbender's world went without an Avatar for a century. There are countless theories about what may have happened if Aang had refrained from entering the iceberg. He might have perished along with the rest of his people, or he might have lived and put an earlier end to the conflict. If the latter, Korra would probably not be the next Avatar, unless Aang lived an absurdly long life like Kyoshi did. While some fans have speculated that Katara was going to be the next Avatar in this theory, one idea contends that it was actually Yue. The root of this theory is based on the mystery of her birth. As a newborn, Yue was born silent, and none of the healers could help. So they put her in the spirit oasis, where the moon spirit gave some of her life force to Yue. At this point, Yue's hair became white, and she began to cry. It almost seems as though Yue was a vessel, waiting to be filled with a spirit. The powerful spirit Rava is tied to the Avatar, who serves as the powerful spirit's human vessel, as shown in The Legend of Korra. When the Avatar dies, Rava is passed on to the following Avatar. Yue might have been born mute because the cycle intended for her to inherit Rava after Aang, but since he lived longer than expected, Rava was unable to be passed on to Yue. Even though the program doesn't go beyond the elemental cycle to describe how the next Avatar is picked, it's possible that the cycle is predetermined yet adaptable. As seen in both series, destiny is real, but it is not crystal clear or set in stone. The fan theory further explains how Yue fulfills the role of the Avatar in Season 1. The Avatar is the bridge between humans and spirits, and they work towards maintaining balance. Not only does Yue have a connection with the spirits, but she also restores balance by sacrificing her human form to bring the moon spirit back to life and restore waterbenders with their bending abilities. There are arguments against this theory, including reincarnation's lack of certainty. There is a chance that the Avatar cycle is predetermined, but there is also a chance that it is completely random. It is also unknown what would have actually happened if Aang had not been frozen. While it is possible that he would have survived the Fire Nation's assaults, it is also possible that he would have perished, which would have delayed the birth of the next Avatar by decades. On the other hand, if Aang had lived, he would have had to do so until precisely the day Yue was born. Along with these uncertainties, the Avatar cycle itself works against this theory. If Yue was supposed to be the Avatar, then the following Avatar would be an Earthbender. However, Korra is the Avatar in the following series. This would mean the cycle either readjusted to accommodate the change in destiny, or Yue was never supposed to be the Avatar in the first place. Finally, Yue does not appear to be a waterbender. It could be argued that audiences don't see her bend because the Northern Water Tribe had strict restrictions for female waterbenders at the time. However, there is not much evidence to prove that this is the case for Yue. If she isn't a waterbender, then she couldn't be the next Avatar in the cycle. Even if Yue was never meant to be the next Avatar, she remains one of the few humans to have a strong bond with the spirits. She lives up to the role of the Avatar by restoring balance between humans and spirits during the Siege of the North. While her character is minor, she manages an Avatar-level feat, and her backstory further supports the notion that Destiny may have had greater things in store for her if Aang never went into that iceberg. That's it on this theory. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time, stay flaming.